Hello and welcome back to EM Weekly. My name is Don and we are back after a brief break. We just got a new office and that also means we have a lot of news to cover. In today's episode, we talk about Focusrite absorbing a major speaker manufacturer, the MIDI universe taking over guitars and much more. All ears are on Focusrite as they take over Adam Audio. The Focusrite group recently announced the addition of the German studio monitor maker into their fold. The acquisition seems to have been worked out on good terms between CEOs of both companies, seeming hopeful and excited for what their collaborative future could bring to the table. Focusrite Group Chairman Phil Dudrid said, together with Adam Audio, we can achieve so much more, removing the technical barriers that frustrate artists seeking to record and reveal their true sound. Given Focusrite's history of bridging recording and production solutions with affordability, one can only hope that they'll throw in a speaker or two into their studio pack bundle. We hope to hear from Focusrite real soon. Say hello to the Jouy Grand fretboard, and it could be the closest MIDI device you'll come across that mimics actual guitar feel. Well, close enough. The Grand fretboard with 12 frets is a silicon layer which sits on top of the Jouy board, which already has similar modules. It works with the recently adopted MIDI polyphonic expression or the MPE protocol, just like the Roly C board or Jouy's own Grand Clavier. According to the website, the device is sensitive to velocity, vibrato, and bending. The silicon strings express all of the musician playing nuances. The optimized design of the frets enables finger sliding on the strips and the introduction of the fretless mode opens new playing possibilities, notably for acoustic sounds. The fretboard is bundled with the Jouy board for $448, and if you already own the board, you can just buy the silicone cover for $43. Toto Funds the Arts is back and calling on entries for its 2020 edition. The nonprofit trust was founded in 2004 with a focus on identifying raw talent and nurturing it, ever since it has been recognizing talents across major art forms, including music. The 2019 edition saw Kolkata-based electronic artist Plastic Parvati, Dhruv Vishwanath and Bangalore's Akriti make it to final nomination. This year, the prize sum of 60,000 rupees is up for grabs and artists below the age of 30 years can participate. If you're interested, you have until August 27th to submit your original composition, which should be shortlisted earlier next year. Links for registration can be found in the description below. Moving on to new releases, Kanish Budori, aka Eon Waves, has released a new album called Ode to a Dying Star. The ambient electronic soundscapes carry a sense of euphoria and melancholy, as if a soundtrack to the dying star that has been through a magnificent journey. The use of Indian sounds and percussive textures make this quite an interesting listen. A couple of weeks back, Tiena's released a new album called O oh on Azadi Records. With this album, Tiena strays away from the sound that has resonated throughout the recent boom in hip hop releases around the country. The vocal articulations coupled with intriguing musical choices offer something fresh. The myriad of influences on this record reveals itself with every listen. He also released two music videos from the record, namely Tides and Juju. Well, that's about all the time we have for the news this week. Again, my name is Don and you're watching EM Weekly. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and if you loved it, make sure to hit that bell icon to receive notifications from us every week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Seriously? <laughs> that had to happen right there.